Hi everyone and welcome. I'm going to show you how to access VSTIs or virtual instruments, also known as soft synthesizers, from within the Samplitude Pro X3. There are three ways to do it, and the first way is to do it from the track header. I call this section here the track header. So you can select your track, and that will be highlighted, you see. And we need to access the plugin slot. If you can't see the plugin slot, you need to click the number here, left click, and the plugin slot will show. The other way is to just grab the bottom of the track header, left click, and you see a double arrow, and just drag it up and down. You can resize it to as big or as small as you want. So I'm going to insert a plugin, left click on the downward arrow where it says no effect, and we have a list of VST plugins here, which are effects plugins but we want to go to VSTI and we have magic synths and below that are third party synths, which I've installed. So I'm going to open the magic synth DNE1. So I select that and left click. Then it opens. And on the left here we have category. So we can choose the different categories of the sounds you want to use. So if I choose bass, I can left click and choose different ones from the List there. So I'm playing my keyboard and nothing's happening. A lot of people get caught out by this, and the reason you can't hear it is probably because you don't have this speaker icon turned on. So left click where it says monitoring, you can see the pop up there. And now I'll play it. So it's working now. The other thing worth noting is you need to have monitor enabled at the bottom. You see? So make sure that's turned on and that monitoring here is turned on. If you still can't hear it, make sure you've got your correct input selected from the input list from the MIDI section. I've got it set to all because I've got different input sources. So you need to make sure you have your MIDI controller, whatever you're using, an M Audio or a Native Instruments, Akai, AKM, whatever you have plugged in, it should be appearing in that list. And I can use a different category here. I'll choose lead. And I can also use the up and down arrows here to change the preset. So that's the first way to access the plugins. To remove the plugin, just left click here on the arrow and choose no effect and it's gone. The second way to open VSTIs is to do it from the track editor, this section here. If you can't see that, there's a small icon here at the bottom. If you hover your mouse, it says track editor. And if I left click on that, the editor will disappear. So you need to make sure that's enabled. So left click on that and it will show. And there's a section here labeled MIDI, which is a section around here, you see it. If you can't see any of those parameters, make sure you click on the small arrow here and it will open that section. And where it says output, left click. And now we have a list of sounds. All these sounds here are based on the Magic's virtual instruments. So it's a handy way of going quickly to the categories you want to open. So I'm going to go to String Ensemble, Legato, Cathedral Legato, and I'll select that. And there it is, and I'll just play that. And you can choose different articulations from the submenus. Spiccato. And again, to remove the plugin, just click no effect. Incidentally, from this output list here, you can also access your 
third party instruments. So where it says new instrument, it will give you a list of all the third party, but also it gives you another list of the magic synths as well. So you've got various ways you can access these. The third way to access a VSTI is from the mixer. So I'm going to the bottom here and there's a small icon. If you hover your mouse on it, you see a little pop up which says mixer. So I can click on that and it will open or click on it again to close it. Alternatively, use control plus M and it will open. So we have the plugin slots here. You can make it smaller by clicking the minus sign and it will give you just the four plugin slots. Useful if you have limited screen space. So this time I'm going to select track four and left click on the first plugin slot. Go to VSTI Magic Synth. We'll try the Cinematic Synth. Open that. And there it is. Make sure you've got the speaker icon turned on here. So click that and you should be able to hear it. And again, you can browse through the presets by just clicking here and choosing a different one. Or just click the arrow here. There's an arrow here. You can just go up and down to go through them. So that's the third way to access a VSTI in Samplitude. Incidentally, if you want to turn it off, just left click on the name and it will become unhighlighted. And that means you can't play it anymore. You got the input, but there's no sound. So click on it again and it will be working. Oh, one last thing before I go. To close a virtual instrument, you just click on the cross here on the right hand corner. If you want to open it again, just to see the GUI, if you want to edit it, just hover the mouse over the name and right click. And it should open, there it is. The same will happen if you do it from the track header, right click. And from the track editor as well, right click and it will open and click the cross to close it. You can also use a keyboard shortcut to open the editor. You need to have the track selected and press Alt plus V and that will open the editor. So that's how you access VSTIs in Samplitude. I hope you found that useful. Until next time, all the best.